Hello everyone, today we are going to start another new chapter Data Structures in Python A data structure in general refers to a particular way of storing and organizing the data in such a manner that it gives optimal performance There are different kinds of data structures which are designed and used in different kind of application but as per the syllabus of class 12 we'll be covering only two data structures that is stacks and queues to start with this module i would advise every one of you to revise the methods and functions that were used in the list chapter especially pop and the append so now let's begin our session with the first type of data structure stacks as you can see in this picture all these chairs are thrown all around the room. What kind of arrangement would you prefer to get maximum free space in this room? Yes, we can put all these chairs one above the other. Cool, isn't it? So, great. What exactly did I create here by putting these chairs? Stack of chairs. By making this kind of arrangement, I optimize the space over here. So data structure is basically organizing the data so that the performance is optimized. Here I have created the stack of chair to optimize the space. Now what if I want to take out a chair now? Can I remove this chair? No. From between? No. So here automatically a constraint gets created. This chair which is the last chair will be the one to be removed first. So in stacks always remember the last element added to the stack will be the one to be removed first. Cool. Now look at this example. I am going to stack these balls into the cylindrical container. 10 goes in. 18 goes in and finally 9 is also there. I have now created, yes, stack of balls. So here also I am using the word stack. What exactly is a stack then? How can we define a stack in technical terms of Python? Stack in particular is a structure basically with a property or a constraint or a restriction that an item in the stack must be inserted or deleted from one end only and we call this as stack top cool you cannot add or delete an element in between fine and this collection also follows a mechanism called lifo the last in first out which means the most recently added item has to go out first. So 9 is the recently added item, 9 will be moved out first. The definition of stack goes like this. It is a LIFO data structure where insertions and deletions takes place at one end only called the stack top. So now we are cool with the definition. Let's learn some technical terms associated with stack the push pop and the traversal push means insertion of an element and where do we insert at the beginning at the stack top removing the most recently added element so this is the most recently added element from the stack top is termed as pop or popping iterating or accessing all the element one by one from the stack top is called traversal so you can see from where the traversal should begin from the stack top 18 is removed 10 is remaining 30 and 43 elements are there if i'm going to traverse them i should start from 10 then 30 and then of course 40 cool so now since we are clear with the definitions and the terms it's time to implement stack and program it into python okay so to implement stack we will be using list first we'll be creating a list for pushing or insertion we'll be using the append method for popping we are going to pop the last element and you can see without the index number the pop is going to be used which by default removes the last element and finally the traversal will be performed by using a for loop but remember 
I have to start from the reverse order. The n minus one element is going to be traversed first and in the reverse order. Cool. So what are we waiting for? Let's look at the code. Here you can see I have created an empty list and then a function namely push. And I'm taking this list L and taking a book name and inserting that name into the list. Finally, I have printed the entire list. So what we can see in the output, I'm calling the function thrice and every time a book is getting added to the stack. First, the literature is added to the list. Then if I call the function again, the science goes in. And on adding history, you can see history also gets into the top. So finally, I created a stack of books. Now, since the implementation of push operation is clear, let's move ahead and do some popping. Popping is removing an element from the stack. Cool. So I have defined another function which is taking the same list and popping the last element. To get the confirmation that the recently added element is going to be deleted, I have just added a print statement. Okay, so look at the output. Wow. So here was my stack and now I'm calling the function. Which book gets removed? Of course, the history, the last element. Then the signs gets removed. Again, if I call the function, the literature books gets removed. What will happen if I'm going to call the function once again? So you can see I ended up with an error message popping from an empty list. Yes, of course, the list is empty. How can you perform the pop operation? You're trying to remove an element from an empty list. So in stack, removing an element from an empty list is termed as stack underflow. Always make sure that once you are defining the function, you should always consider whether the list goes empty or not. So if the list goes empty, so here I have improved my code by adding an if statement which checks whether the list is empty or not. And if list is empty, just give the message stack is under flow. Otherwise, of course, elements are there and you can do as many deletions as you want. Cool. So now let's look at the output. List is empty. Fine. And I'm performing the popping with the empty list and I've reached with a message. Now there is no error message. Rather, it's my message. The stack is underflow. Cool. So that brings us to the end of today's session. Of course, traversal is remaining, which would be done in the following video of practical session. But before we leave, it's time to recap. All the definition, all the technical terms, everything is very, very important. So first definition, stack. It's a LIFO structure where insertions and deletions takes place at one and only call the stack top. Insertion of an element on the stack top is called pushing, whereas popping is removing the most recently added element from the stack top. And finally, the underflow, removing an element from an empty stack is called underflow. Cool. So that brings us to the end of this session. What are we waiting for? Grab your computers, follow the next video to experience the entire set of stack operations. Hands on experience is very important. Keep practicing, enjoy learning, and of course, yes, happy coding.